So ECMO is a form of emergency treatment uh, that allows us to help people who've had catastrophic failure of their heart or lungs. Uh, it stands for extracorporeal membrane oxygenation and this tells us what it does, which is to take the blood outside the body, add oxygen and put it back in. An opportunity to buy time for someone who's desperately sick whilst we investigate, find out the problem, hopefully fix it, uh, allow them time to recover, or in some situations allow them time to find an organ that can be transplanted. The Hospital to Home ECMO pathway has been developed in collaboration with expert ECMO clinicians based at Royal Brompton Hospital. This pathway is designed to be used by all clinicians from the multidisciplinary team involved in a patient's care and allows them to communicate on a single site, crossing organisational boundaries. This means that clinicians at the local hospital receiving the patient back following ECMO treatment are fully informed and appropriately prepared to receive that patient back. Further to recording clinical information, the pathway aims to embed efficiency by providing structure and templates to the process. Well, the important thing about the ECMO pathway is that these are often desperately sick patients where the decisions are often time critical and we have a lot of information that we wish to share between the various clinicians and this allows us to do this accurately and safely uh, and also when the patients move, the information moves with them and so we have a permanent record that we can refer back to. Clearly the pathway is important because it allows clinicians at both the referring and the receiving hospital to access important information about the patient. This enables effective, safe and robust referral and repatriation. It allows the doctors and the other members of the team in the referring hospital to follow their patient through their pathway um, to see how they're progressing in our hospital, whether they're still on ECMO, whether they're getting better, whether they've now been successfully weaned from ECMO. The hospital to home ECMO pathway is important to provide up-to-date clinical information, rigorous clinical information to the specialist ECMO centre quickly and efficiently so that the patient can be retrieved for the necessary treatment in a timely manner. One of the key benefits uh, is it improves communication between the many different groups of healthcare professionals that are often involved in the care of these very sick patients. Decision making uh, is often time critical and having all the information easily accessible is very important to us. In addition to that, uh, quality improvement of the service uh, is done by looking back at uh, cases that we've been involved in and this is a powerful tool for allowing us to audit what we've done and improve the service. The ultimate benefit of the pathway is to join up care across the whole of their journey, not just in one single point of time, but across the whole of their hospital stay. The pathway aims to improve the efficiency of information transfer around their treatment and therefore add a layer of safety to their care. Clearly, any system that enables clinicians looking after a patient to be able to access information about that patient quickly, simply, from wherever they are, is, ben is beneficial and benefits the patient. For the clinicians looking after patients, it aims to save them time. Information is pulled through the pathway so that time is not lost in duplicating important clinical information. The ECMO pathway is simple to use. Clinicians can enter information about the patients, their patients and their illness into the system in either the referring or the receiving hospital very easily. They don't need specialist training. If you can use online systems to book tickets or shop, you can use this pathway. The pathway includes the use of hover boxes so that the user, when they hover their cursor over those, is guided on how to navigate the page. Once important clinical information has been entered into a page, automatic calculations will be done to save time. Documents can also be uploaded to the pathway, again to save time in typing out unnecessary information. Should a user need any additional support, then we provide at hospital to home training on a one-to-one -one or a group level from clinician to clinician. Furthermore, our team can be contacted via email or telephone for further support. Keeping patient identifiable information safe is crucial. We have an in-house information governance officer who has ensured the security of patient information that's held on the pathway. 
The pathway can only be accessed within the N3 network. This simply means that you need to be in an NHS organisation to use the clinical pathway. Each user of the ECMO pathway will also have a unique username and password.